Okay, it's time to wash the RV. And if you want an RV, one of the most dreadful things is to wash it. And you gotta pick the right day. Today is overcast, no sun, so I figured wake up early and start washing the RV, get it cleaned up. But I wanted to show you guys something I installed. This RV didn't come with gutters, so I installed these gutters. And I'm just gonna do a quick video on how awesome they are. And if you don't have gutters on your RV, when your AC is running, you get this water streaks all along the side of the RV because that AC is dripping water and it consistently just keeps going all over the RV, all on the sides. If you install gutters, all that water comes through the spout and it just drips down and it doesn't touch. I don't know if I can get this shot. It pushes it far enough that it will drip in one if it gets wet it'll just wet that one position so I'm gonna get up there and kind of show you how I did that okay so that's the top of the RV and if you see right here that's the gutter and it comes catches a spout and it just drips from so all the all the water from the top it comes it drains into here follows this, the gutter catches in the spout and drips out the spout I made a little extension <laughs> I installed this real simple to install it's just 3m tape you just take off the back and just stick it on real straight all the way to the back. It's not hard. It took me about 20 minutes each side. It's been on for two years and I haven't had any issues with it. If anybody wants to know how to add gutters to their trailer, fifth wheel or class A motorhome it's, it will save you a lot of headache from getting your RV dirty and stripped up from that water washing the roof getting all this dirt build up. I just use uh, soap and water. Nothing nothing too strong. Just scrub around the panels. Give the panels a good scrubbing. Just started. That's what I use. I just use a pump up sprayer. Put some soap and water in it. My other panel in the back. AC. Just keep everything a good scrubbing. Alright, halfway there. What I do is I scrub the front without stepping in the soap. Then I back up about eight feet, rinse off, get another eight feet, scrub it. You can see how dirty it is. That's just dirt road grind. But I get another eight feet, scrub it and rinse. That way I don't step in, so in soap and get it nice and slippery. Rinse off. Once everything is rinsed off, I'll go back and do a double check. Try to get all the soap out. I don't want to leave any dry soap on here.
to the end. Put the second AC down. And that's it. Look how clean it looks. That should last me about six months. The top is dry and clean. Good wash. All right, so this was me washing the RV. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Thank you and have a great day.